Hey everyone, Troy Peterson, Mr. Bluegill, and today I want to show you a couple different methods on how to clean fish. These methods are going to work great for all panfish, walleyes, and especially here on these white bass. Now these white bass are probably some of the hardest fish to clean, especially when we go through the rib cage. Their rib bones are extremely strong and very thick and uh, really can put uh, a strain on a knife. So I've got the seven inch fish crafter knife from Benchmade, uh, made in the USA, very amazing steel. The nice part about these knives is it's got a great flex, great handle, uh, very, very thin, and it's got a back bevel. So when you're going through the, through the flesh, it makes it very easy. And the first method I'm gonna show you here is we're gonna actually take the knife and go right through the rib bones and show you how to flay it that way. And then we'll flip the fish over and show you how we go over the top of the rib bone. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is go right behind the gill here and we're gonna make our cut down until we hit the, uh, the spine. And it's not gonna go much further. After that, we're going to tilt your knife and find that, that backbone up on the top and just obviously just we're just moving through and keeping pressure down and pushing it forward at the same time. So you follow that spine all the way down past the tail and we'll flip that meat over. Now with these white bass, what I like to do is kind of hold my knife up off the skin a little bit just to keep all that dark red meat uh, from coming on to our piece of uh, flesh that we're going to cut off here. So that dark meat, that red meat, is what actually makes the, a fish fillet taste really fishy. Uh, it's really bloody, and unlike a piece of beef, you know, where the blood and the juices are good, not so good on the fish. So now that we have the piece of meat off the skin, uh, what we're gonna do is, on a white bass, you can see there's their lateral line, and all I'm gonna do is cut right above that, and we're just gonna loin, take the back strap off, and that is the piece of meat that we're going to eat. The rest of this is basically belly meat and rib bones. You've got this one little piece of meat right here off the back. If you really wanted to, you could cut that off and trim that up, uh, but by the time you're done, there's such little meat there uh, that we just, we feed it to the birds. So we're gonna flip this over to the other side. Uh, so now this method works really good when the dorsal fin is facing towards you. We're actually going to go over the top of the rib bones, and this is the method I prefer to use when I'm using a standard fillet knife. We're gonna make the same cut behind the gill plate, and then we're gonna very carefully uh, insert the tip of the knife and just follow that backbone down till you get past, uh, kind of right where their anus is. We're gonna poke through, keeping pressure down and again, sliding it forward to a little bit behind the tail. And we're gonna leave just a little bit of a flap there so we can have something to fold that on. The nice part about having a nice sharp knife is it makes very easy work to just slice through that, that flesh over the top of the rib cage. And then once we get to this point, what I like to do is turn the fish over and then just use your knife and roll it and cut it right down over the top of the ribs and voila. Again, we're gonna keep our flay knife off just a little bit of the skin and slice down now. On bluegills and crappies, uh, sunnies, this would be it. That would be a finished product. Uh, but again, with the white bass, with that really dark red meat in there, we're gonna cut that off. Through all of these fish, doesn't matter if we're cleaning white bass, walleyes, perch, crappies, uh, the one thing that you wanna make sure is you have a really good sharp knife. And if you have that sharp knife, you do not need to use a lot of pressure. The more pressure you use, the more apt you are to have an accident, uh, and you're probably gonna draw a little bit of blood on yourself. So having a very, very sharp knife makes things a lot easier. Uh, it's a lot more efficient, a lot quicker. It makes it a lot safer, and also allows you to get more meat off of each fish. So the techniques I've shown you here today will work great for any of the panfish, whether it be uh, bluegills, crappies, perch, these white bass, walleye. Another fish that we got swimming around in North America are the trout and salmon. And I'm gonna send you over to Dumper Dan Charters in Sheboygan, Wisconsin, and he's gonna demonstrate how they clean the trout and salmon with a Benchmade knife. Okay, here uh, we're gonna process some of the fish from off the lake, Lake Michigan. And uh, these are caught by Dumper Dan and his crew. Uh, for processing these fish, I'm using a nine inch fish crafter from Benchmade. Uh, cutting up by the head. And then I'm gonna run my knife down along the back. Then I'm going to come back, clean up a little bit, and then go over the ribs. 
Just like that, make sure they look nice. And then you go to the other side and do the same thing. If you notice, I'm just not just using the tip of the knife, but I'm using the whole blade. Uh, by using the whole length of the knife, you get more life out of the edge. And the Benchmade knives, they have lifetime guaranteed sharpening. All right, the next fish we're gonna do is we're gonna cut it out, and then we're gonna chunk it into pieces for smoking. Or grilling. So usually I cut the head off. Slice it open. Pull this out. And take my spoon knife. Cut down along the bloodline. Scrape it out so it's clean. And that's it for that. And then uh, chunk in it if you want. You can one. Two, yeah, we'll do three, four. Uh, this would be good for the grill or smoking. Uh, sometimes you wanna leave the coal a little thicker so they don't dry out. And uh, you can do them however you like.